My name is John Rowan and welcome to Kyoto Stay's Gojo Apartment. Uh, in this short video I'd like to answer a few frequently asked questions that we get here at Kyoto Stay's. Uh, first I'm going to talk about booking. It's very simple to book uh, the Gojo Apartment here or uh, other apartment, the Okazaki Apartment. All you need to do is email us with the dates that you'd like to stay. We'll send you a quote for those days. If you agree with the quote, we'll then send you a rental agreement. You check the details. If you're happy with the details, at the bottom of the agreement there's a small text box where you can type your name and send that agreement back to us. So then you've booked the apartment. Next we come on to Payments. Many people ask about payments. Uh, you need to pay a deposit and later you need to pay the balance. 90% of our guests pay the deposit by PayPal. It's definitely the most easy way to pay. So when we receive the rental agreement back from you, we will email the PayPal information to you. Some of our guests prefer to use their own bank and send uh, a bank transfer. That is definitely possible. Uh, it can be a little bit trickier than using PayPal, but we have done it in the past and we can do it. Some of our guests are visiting family members who are now living in Japan to study or to work. And those family members often have a Japanese bank account. So it's possible to uh, pay the deposit by the free commie service, which is ba basically a, a bank transfer. Uh, so, those are the three options you have to pay the deposit. For the balance, there are two ways that people usually pay. They usually pay exactly the same way as they paid the deposit uh, before they arrive at the apartment or they pay cash on arrival. We are perfectly happy with either way. So those are the payments. Now, location. This apartment is located one minute's walk from Gojo uh, subway station, uh, which is one stop away from Kyoto station. So probably you will arrive in Kyoto uh, at Kyoto Station, most people do, either by train from Kansai Airport or maybe from by train from Tokyo. But most people arrive at Kyoto Station. So from Kyoto Station, it's one subway stop to this apartment or a three minute taxi ride. So very, very easy to get here. And access back to the station is also very easy. Uh, we're also one stop away from Shijo, which is the main shopping area in Kyoto. So again, very, very convenient. This area is a residential area, so it's reasonably quiet, it's comfortable, but there are many shops and restaurants, so it's an excellent place to stay. But you can travel anywhere in Kyoto in less than 30 minutes via the subway system or via the bus system. So for me, I think this is one of the best places to, to stay in Kyoto. A lot of people ask about shopping, especially food shopping. Many families come to stay here and to a certain extent they want to cook. So Within two minutes walk from here, there's a supermarket where you can buy everything you need. Meat, fish, vegetables, whatever you need. Uh, there's a pharmacy next door to it, so again, anything that you might need during your stay, it's very close to here. Even closer are two 24-hour convenience stores. They're less than one minute's walk from the apartment. If you want something specific from your home country or some international kind of food. There are also international supermarkets. Uh, there are two very close to here, both one subway stop away, so at 
Kyoto Station, there's an international supermarket, and at Shijo Station there's also an international supermarket. So all your shopping needs are taken care of. Uh, lots of people like to eat out as well, uh, near to the apartment, but a number of good Japanese restaurants and some international restaurants. And again, one stop north or one stop south, you'll find literally hundreds of great restaurants, whether they're Japanese restaurants or international restaurants. I've already talked about the transportation a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll mention it a little bit more. Uh, we're very close to the, the subway station and many of the places in Kyoto that you might want to visit are close to subway station so it's very convenient to use that that service and you can buy uh, this ticket this is a one day free ticket for the, the subway system it costs 600 yen and you can use it all day uh, the minimum price for a ticket on the subway system is 210 yen so if you ride the subway more than three times you're already making money because this is 600 yen for an adult. The special way to buy this, uh, when you arrive, if you, if you want to buy one of these, we'll explain how you can get it. Also, the subway system connects with the Kintetsu line, which can take you to Nara, a very beautiful city close to Kyoto, very similar to Kyoto. It was an ancient capital of Japan, it has a, a unique temple, Todaiji Temple, uh, which is one of the biggest wooden structures in the world. And it houses uh, the Daibutsu, which is a, a giant image of Buddha, giant Buddha statue. It has a beautiful park with uh, deer and lots of wildlife. So if you're looking for a one-day trip away from Kyoto, then I recommend Nara and it's very easy to get to from, from this apartment. So, transport is very good. Uh, one more question I'm going to talk about today. Lots of people ask about checking. Checking is easy. You arrive in Kyoto, probably at Kyoto Station. It'll take you a short taxi ride or one stop on the subway to get here. We'll provide you with a, a detailed map how to get to this apartment. Either Hiroshi, the owner of the apartment, or myself will be here to show you the apartment, explain how everything works, and then leave you to relax and enjoy the apartment. So check-in is very, very simple. So we think we have a, a good booking payment system. The location is very, very good for shopping and restaurants and transportation and very easy to check in. So I hope that's answered a lot of your questions but obviously you may have some other questions and please feel free to email me. Uh, I will do my best to answer the questions. If, if I don't know I'll ask Hiroshi who probably will know and if he doesn't know between us we will know someone who does know. So please feel free to ask any questions about the apartment or Kyoto. Thank you for watching and I hope to meet you in the future. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye.